General Motors was established in 1908. That time the company was the sole carmaker dealer in the region. First it was holding Buick Company till 1920, then it was becoming the world's largest motor manufacturing company. The company got a tremendous success in time of Alfred Salon, due to his leadership the company was producing new style and design car every year, and he had given such concept to the company. The other brands of the company are Chevrolet, Pontiac, Buick, and Cadillac. These are the different brand cars which were produced by the company that time, and this way there were no other competitors to compete in the company's different cars. But with the emerging of the Japan's automakers the company felt threatened, especially the emerging of Toyota Japan, who with great extent disturbed the profitability of the GM, especially in the North American market. In 2001 the sales graph of the GM was in decline, because the Toyota had captured the market, this way the GM received loans from the American government and Canadian government to support the company in that crisis period. During 2009 the company had faced bankruptcy and had closed several brands and sold out to China-based companies. Now the company again got its position in the market by restructuring and making changes in the company. Now the company is again operating business in the core brands in America such as Chevrolet, GMC, Buick, and Cadillac. Now, before moving to this video, I would like to make a small request to you, if you like this content, please like this video and share your views in the comment, it would indicate to me that I should continue to make more such kind of videos, and at the same time your feedback will help me to improve the quality of the content. Also don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, in order to get unlimited free access to my case study videos archive. Moreover, I have given some case study links and study materials in the description of this video. With that being said, let me take you into the detailed view of this case study. Organizations function inside an increasingly unstable environment and are in a state of constant change. Various internal factors such as strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats within an organization, and external sources such as political, economic, social and technological factors trigger the organizational change. External factors take place outside the organization and cause changes within the organization such as technology, social condition, availability of resources, economy, politics and business scenario may influence organizational change, whereas the internal factors refer to the organizational structure, systems, people and performance. The internal forces that influence organizational activities are employee behavior and attitude, In external forces the GM was greatly affected by the Japanese-based company Toyota, which was the emerging competitor at that time. North America is still the biggest marketplace for GM where the company sold out in recent years for 2.9 million, and the nearest competitor is Toyota and China-based companies. These competitors with great extent disturbed the total profitability of the General Motor, and the second external force which the company faced as a huge problem was financial crises, which with great extent collapsed the cash flows of the company. The other force for change to GM was the high wages cost to employees, as the company was paying $74 per hour as compared to Toyota which was paying only $44 per hour, because GM was in an agreement with the trade union. And the GM was compelled to run the plant with minimum 80% capacity, whether it was needed or not, these things play an important role in the bankruptcy of the company. With respect to the external and internal changes as discussed earlier, it has forced the company to ultimately bring or make change in the company, so the company decided to bring changes on some areas of the business, which includes structural change, cost change, process change and cultural change. While going on change management of the GM, the company took some steps to adopt changes. 
Following are the most recent changes which the company has taken. The first step which was taken by the GM is about cost cutting. The company has reduced the cost of some brands to maintain the profit level, such as the Saturn and Hammer, by keeping the other company's cost. Similarly, the company also cut pay of employees which was a major problem to the company. The company has achieved the target of cost cutting up to 15 billion in recent years. The General Motor also changed the culture of the company, the GM removed its automotive product board, and created an automotive strategy, which consists of up to eight men board decision-making team which were responsible to report directly to the CEO. The main objective of such change is to speed up the day-to-day decision-making process. The GM also changed the culture to improve the efficiency of the employees and make them accountable and responsible. Just because employees may resist change doesn't mean managers can't help them cope with it. Employee involvement and empowerment are usually mentioned in organizational change literature to help reduce employees' resistance to change. A better perspective to encourage and support employees to cope with change, stating that the situation and the content of the change itself varies largely between organizations and it should determine the appropriate response. There are various approaches from education to coercion, describing who and when to use them to reduce resistance and details the advantages and drawbacks of each. Different personality types of individuals should also be taken into consideration for addressing change. The result of cost-cutting of GM seems from its employment figure of 1998 to 2009, it was reduced from 226,000 to 101,000 workers, and now the company is concentrating on sale rather than to further cut off, and also the company is deciding to reduce the worked force of the factory from 60,000 to 40,000, and it will certainly lead to cost saving to the company. The General Motor has also achieved good results from cultural change, and the employees are now becoming aware about the responsibility and accountability, as well as the company also empowered the employees to give better productivity. As we have discussed before, the General Motor adopted two main strategies for change management, Recent one was cost-cutting strategy for change management and other ways cultural change management strategy. The company adopted two other change strategies but these are the most recent, by developing such strategies the company has achieved its market shares in North America again. As the company was threatened by the emerging of competitors in the automaker industry, the company decided to bring changes, and now the company is in better position again and maintained the brand of core products. Besides these, the company also achieved the cost benefits by implementing these change strategies in the company. After facing intense competition and bankruptcy, the General Motor now improved the company activities again, and is still the world's largest car manufacturing company. Thank you so much for listening to this video, I hope this video might be informative for you. If you find this video useful, I would request you to like this video, and please do share your feedback regarding this video in the comment. It would mean a lot to me. Last but not the least, as mentioned earlier do not forget to subscribe this YouTube channel for receiving updates about my upcoming case study videos. You can also write in the comment, if you would like me to make videos regarding any specific case studies that you have in your mind. Meanwhile, you can also have a check on my 5 minutes learning YouTube channel for getting access to hundreds of case study videos. Thanks a lot again, see you soon with another interesting case study video.